Hey there, plastic crack addicts. Uh, how's everybody doing today? So we've been hanging out on, uh, you know, some web pages and forums and stuff and uh, Facebook pages. And I, I noticed a question that's come up a lot lately is how do you store your action figures? Uh, so obviously, you know, we, we like, we like our hobby. We want to, when we collect these things, we want them to stay nice. Uh, so I'm just going to go over a couple of the ways I store mine. I mean, there might be other ways to do it. I mean, we don't, it would be nice if we all had unlimited display space, you know, unlimited funds for display cases, but that's usually not the case for most of us. Uh, you know, I have a small area where my wife begrudgingly lets me put a few uh, action figures, but for the most part, uh, don't really have a whole lot of space. So, uh, yeah, let's get right down to it. I'm gonna show you what I do here. So, first thing uh, I want to be clear on is you what you do not want. You do not want your uh, kitchen variety Ziploc or whatever brand polyethylene bag. These will kill your figures, okay? They're not acid-free. Over time, they will break down the plastic on your figures. Uh, any of you that might have done that or pick them up at yard sales, whatever you might have noticed, a uh, your figures start to feel slimy, okay? So you, that, you do not want that at all. So yeah, just don't even bother with those. You'll totally ruin your figures. Uh, what I like to go with are these. So acid-free polypropylene bags. I get them from clearbags.com. They are uh, very decently priced. Don't ask me the price right now. I, I couldn't tell you. I'll, I'll put a link to their website down on the bottom. But uh, yeah, so the, the five by eight size, those are good for say vintage line, uh, vintage, master of the universe, anything in that particular scale. Uh, I find those work really well. Uh, but overall, what I tend to use for my larger six inch figures are going to be the six by nine size. Uh, I was using the five by eights but for a little while, but finally they just, they're just too tight. So six by nines work really well. Uh, yeah, so get yourself some six by nine acid-free poly bags, clearbags.com, so you can see the website right there. Uh, and then what does it end up looking like? Well, it's, it's pretty simple. Oh, I also get some, sorry, I forgot to, forgot to mention, I also get some smaller bags. I want to see if these are a three by five, three by four for uh, their weapons. Okay. So what I'll do, I'm just going to throw that right down there. So what does it end up looking like? Oh, you know, like this. All right. So there's Unkin, Unkin, Mythic, Le uh, Mythic Legion's line that's there. If you're, if you're not familiar, that's their own to uh, Man-at-Arms, of course. But uh, yeah, you open it up. And got all those weapons, polybagged. I don't polybag them individually. It doesn't really make sense, but I just get them all in there so they're not rubbing against the figure and paint, you know, getting paint rub off or anything like that. And they just go in there. Seal it back up. Good. I got the same thing. The Masters of the Universe. Same thing. You see, they're all all the weapons are put in one poly bag, and then these are just whatever happened to be at the top of the the bins. I just kind of grab these out. So <clears throat> that's what I do right there. Uh, then what do I do from there? Oh, well, I'll show you. From there, they end up in individual bins like this. I can grab it. So, so well, I, I split them up by good guys, heroes, as it were, and cool guys, uh, villains and the like. Of course, you'll notice I have a lot more of those than I do of those. Uh, weird how that works out. But uh, yeah, just polybag them all, throw them in the bin. Uh, I don't like putting them in clear bins because these, I, I mean, I, with a clear bin, if you had to store it in a place that happened to be in direct sunlight, that's not good. It's gonna break down your figures over time. Also, they'll start to fade. So I just do that, throw them in the bins, and they go in my in, in the basement, you know, on a shelf, uh, out of the way, and from time to time, go out, pull random ones out. Works pretty well so far. What about all the random weapons you get when you buy a weapons pack or uh you know 
protect. They come with extra heads. Uh, I'll store the extra. Usually I'll do, uh, well, you can see like I did here, I'll store the extra heads maybe in a separate poly bag in with the, uh, the figure. Uh, but I've got you know, some, some of these little plastic things. I have a cover. Just locks on. You get the idea. It just locks on. And then all the... So with the Mythic Legion's Barbarian Builder, I've just got all the random extra pieces, poly bag, uh, you know, random spear, not poly bag. And yeah, just ends up all dumped in here. Poly bags. And then, cause I, I was just dumping them all into a bin. Then I noticed they, they start rubbing against each other, getting scratched. The paint scratches off. And uh, yeah, we don't want that. That's no fun at all. But... Um, let's see what size that's what I was going to find out what size are these little ones that I use so there are three by five so these are three by five uh, I get some longer ones for the spears and uh, halberds and things like that but yeah ultimately uh, these you know just an extra bin with extra parts all poly bagged up keep them scratch free and again, divide it up by whether they are good or bad guys. And then these can either go inside the red bin that I showed you a moment ago, or I, I just throw them on the shelf. They're like right on top. And uh, yeah, so that's that's how I take care of the action figures, how I keep them stored. Uh, maybe a little bit OCD for some people's tastes, but that's just how I handle it. I figure, you know, you, spend a bunch of money on these you want them to stay nice uh, so you can enjoy them later on or hand them down to your kids when they get a little older and they're not uh, gonna beat them to snot <laughs> so uh, yeah hope that's helpful if anybody has any questions leave them in the comments below feel free to like share subscribe trying to grow the page it'd be uh, super great all right everybody have a great day